Oh, now it's all, oh, 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 this is, you should see this, it's still running out. Look at this. Welcome back everybody. And of course, anyone new, welcome. Uh, so if you are new to the channel um, and like videos about people living in a chateau in France and of course, renovating and uh, maintaining one, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button beneath the video and then hit the bell for notifications uh, as and when we release new videos. It is completely free. It just helps the channel grow and helps you get to know when videos are coming out. Right, I really should be doing stuff in that room, but the weather has changed a bit and we've got a dry day and we don't have any other dry days for another week. So I need to tackle a big job while it's not raining. I need to tackle this big tree which came down in the storm. This one also needs to be dealt with, but less so because this one is stopping me getting up behind there to our kitchen garden with all of the leaves that we pick up with the mower this time of year, which we then put in there for mulch to compost down over the winter. And we obviously we desperately need to get that done. Thankfully, I have some help. I've got my helper Rick with me today. So we're gonna try and get this at least cut up and out of the way so I can get through with the mower. Let's see how far we can get. That is probably about as far as I can get today. The light's starting to fade. And as you probably notice, I'm using the small pruning chainsaw because the big one won't start. Obviously, um, most people would have noticed I'm using the small pruning chainsaw and that's because the big one won't start and I think it's finally dead. It was only a cheap Chinese one to see us through for a couple of seasons. So I'll have to replace that. And that does mean thank you so much for everyone that watches the adverts. Uh, and follows the channel as those little bits of revenue really do help to replace machinery and keep this place in tip-top condition. So thank you so much. Now though, we're on to a job that I've wanted to do for a little while and that's flushing out those radiators to see what's inside them. Should we go for this, Rick? Yep, let's go. No, going at, going at the top, going at the top one, I reckon. This one? Yeah, go in there. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's just disgusting black stuff coming out. Ah. I like that, yeah. Keep on it, yeah. So obviously, watering down that sludge and getting it out but that really does affect how well the radiators heat and that's quite important in a place like this i think it's getting better i'm going to stop the rick and see how much comes out it's coming out of this nozzle here now isn't yeah. it yeah yeah that's uh still black blacker than night that is <laughs> what's the second radiator like too close to that. Oh. That's disgusting. This one's starting to run clear ish. All right, we're back on the first one. And that's starting to come out a nice clear colour. Seems to be running quite clear. Do you want to just turn it off and see what? Yeah, it's still got quite a bit of stuff in it. We're dislodging everything from the sides as you're putting it through. So. I think the trick is to run it for a bit to blast the sides 
and then let the water drain out and then start and go move the other one. Oh. <laughs> yeah, please. As predicted, the rains have come and of course that means we're not working outside. That's fine. The radiators are going to take a little while to flush out and it's a bit of a, a worry to be honest because quite often when these old cast iron radiators are full of gunk like these ones, sometimes the leaks on the bottom are being plugged by that gunk. So we won't know until we put them back in and uh, get them plugged up to the system, but we shall see. Uh, in the meantime, we have more stuff to be getting on with. I've got another part to fit to a piece of equipment here to see if we can get it working. Right, we are getting something extremely important. This, this little box could be the savior the part I need to get something really important up and running again. Let's check it's the right part. Now what this is, with a little luck, is the valve size for the cherry picker. That's not the connector. Oh, some spare bolts. soon find out we will soon find out okay so for anyone who doesn't know um you can see from the aerial photos all the time um, in the videos we have a lot of trees and they are massively overgrown we need to cut them back and it's a time of year once the leaves have all gone the sap has gone down to the roots where you can really trim them back but we've got a problem with our cherry picker hopefully this solves it so i'm going to change the valve now and hopefully it's gonna work. Here's the internal gubbins. And it's that I've got to change. So let's get that changed and see if this will actually work again. Okay, new one's all fitted. Time to see if it works. It works again so now just clean up the area make sure there's no hydraulic oil leaks and then keep an eye on it but I think we're back in business which is just the right time because the strong winds are starting to come so it's the right time to start getting the trees back down to a better size um, getting the wood chopped up cleared up and then of course we won't have as many trees come down when the storms come all right the rains are back and that's what we've got at the moment it's uh, bright sunshine in between torrential rain. That's fine, it's time to get on with the window reveals of the room so we can then get that all sorted and then get to getting the radiators painted and in and hopefully they won't leak. Still gotta carry on clearing those out for a bit but we've gotta work with what we've got and um, we need some dry days for that along with actually painting them. In the meantime, I need to go and get some wood get those window reveals done and get on with it. So we'll see you next time. If you haven't yet subscribed and you like the videos, please do think about hitting the subscribe button below the video and then hit the bell button for notifications when we post new videos. And as again, it's completely free. And of course, thank you all for watching and uh, everyone that watches the adverts, thank you so much. See you next time.